Alrighty, what is going on everybody? This is Shoke and in this video I will be giving you guys a guide to Project M because once this mod came out a lot of people have been asking me questions on how to download it, how to install it, and how to do custom music on it. Now, of course, all of these answers can be found on the website, but for some reason, people don't understand the fact that there's a website here. But whatever, anyways, I will do this for you guys. I will show you guys how to set this all up and give you guys the rundown of Project M. Now, if you guys missed my other video, Project M is basically a mod to make Brawl play more like melee not to be a melee 2.0 but to pretty much combine what is great about brawl and what is great about melee and just put those two things together and make this really awesome smash game and this game is legit this is not your run the mill mod this is not an amateur mod this mod was four years in the making and has been created by over a team of 50 people in the competitive smash community so it is definitely admirable of them to do this but um of course it has characters and stages and things of that nature but i will get to that later for now i'm gonna show you guys how to set this up and all that stuff it is real easy it is simple now they do have the information on the installation and you know the stuff on on here but i'll go ahead and explain to you guys because apparently a lot of you guys hate reading but um <clears throat> this right here is what you need to download no you do not need to download all of this you can either download the installer which are pretty much just, you know, pretty much install the whole game for you, the default files and whatnot. But if you want to do any kind of customization or anything like that, um, you can also, you could just download one of these. No, you do not need to download all of these things. You only need to download one of them. And as you can see, it'll say like hackless Wii Zip, hackless um, Wii, uh, Wii Zip Wi Fi safe, and then homebrew option. Basically, if you have homebrew on your Wii, you know, you could use one of the homebrew options. If you don't have a hacked Wii, that's cool. You do not need to hack your Wii in any kind of way. This is a hack free mod. All you gotta do is download one of the hackless options and you're good to go. Now the difference between the full set and the Wi-Fi safe set is that of course the Wi-Fi safe set has online multiplayer and yes this yes this game has online by the way this mod does. A lot of people were asking about that. And yes the online is actually better than brawls. I don't, I don't know if it's a coincidence or, or what but Based off my experience, this online is actually a lot better than Brawls, and I've actually been able to play some very playable matches on here, which is astounding considering how terrible Brawls Online used to be. But yes, it is fully playable online, you, but you can only play with other Project M 3.0 players if you're playing with Project M 3.0. If you're going to try to play some people who are playing regular Brawl, you're going to desync and get disconnected. As simple as that. Um, yeah, the, the difference between the full set and the Wi-Fi safe set is that the full set pretty much has all the options for offline play. It's an offline only set, but it has all the things for competitive play. For instance, it has um, the stock control and the stage strike right here. The stock control pretty much controls how many stocks you could uh, you know, spawn with. And the stage strike is pretty much, you can strike off stages off the random list. So whenever you hit random, it goes to only the stages you left on there. See what I'm saying? And then it says right here, you know, the Wi-Fi safe set doesn't differentiate between um, L to R light presses. You guys know how analog um, triggers, you know, there's soft pressing it and then there's, you know, hard pressing it. That's pretty much what that's talking about right there. So basically, if you want to play with others, get the Wi-Fi safe set. If you're going to play locally with others, you know, and competitively, buy the full set. But for those of you who really aren't hardcore competitive Smash players, you know, go ahead and buy the Wi-Fi set because you guys aren't really going to care about what the full set has to really offer. Because um, pretty much the full set is for, you know, competitive uh, tournament play, you know, things of that nature. So, yeah, um, once you download um, wh whichever set you need or want or whatnot, as you see right here in the instructions, first and foremost, make sure you delete custom Brawl data off your Wii SD card. Like they said, don't assume that you haven't made any because who knows, there might be. But make sure you have no, no custom stage data. Because in order to boot up Project M3.0, you have to boot up the stage builder. And if you have custom stage data on that SD card, it's not going to read the Project M data. Because the first thing it's going to read is the stage data. So make sure you have no stage data. If you're not sure that there's stage data on there, simply get a different SD card. Or just format your SD card. You know, either way. And also make sure that your SD card is less than or equal to 2 gigabytes. It will not work with anything over 2 gigs. But if you do not have a 2 gigabyte SD card for whatever strange or random reason, 
you can uh, use this with you know things such as USB loader you know you can make an ISO file of it and, you know play it through you know the hack applications that's why you know gecko is there you know things of that nature and this also works on the dolphin emulator as well so if you don't have an SD card there are many many ways you could do this everybody could play this except for people in the PAL region unfortunately um, this is only for NTSC um, you know broad disk and Wii's only and we use yes this does work on your Wii U as well um, but they are uh, based off what I heard they are uh, working on a PAL version so you European guys are just gonna have to hold on tight for the time being uh, sorry about that um, and also an also important to point out um, I've seen a lot of people reporting that it is not working on their Wii U's because when they boot up Project M 3.0 um, it works but it disconnects any wireless capabilities the system has um, as far as controllers go. So they'll boot it up on their Wii U's, but then they can't play it because their Wii Motes be automatically disconnected. I have booted this up on my Wii U. That was actually the first system I booted up on, and it was no problem. But one thing I've noticed that the people who have been reporting these problems downloaded the full set. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that the full set has a problem with the Wii U. So if you're planning on playing this with your Wii U, I definitely recommend that you buy the hackless, not buy, um, it's free. You download the hackless Wi-Fi safe set and that should work on your Wii U with no problem. So once you've downloaded the installer or one of these options, all you got to do is go to your SD card. If you download the zip file, move the zip over to the root of your SD card, right click, extract here, bam, you're done. Or you could just drag the installer over and just run the installer in here and then it'll create um, these files right here um, and also the codes file uh, folder the 3ds this is something I had on here I have my 3ds some 3ds data you know backed up on here and also the music as well so those are not project M folders and neither is the DCIM but the codes private and project M these are folders made from um, project M well, actually, I think the private folder is made from the Brawl Music Major, which I'm going to get into. But yeah, that, that's pretty much all you have to do. All you have to do is right-click, um, extract. It'll extract it. Then you just take your SD card out. Uh, let me boot up my Wii. You take your SD card out. Put it into your Wii or Wii U. It works on both. Open up my Avermedia. And I know a lot of people, because this happens all the time, they're going to ask, how in the world did you get your Wii and Wii U on your on your desktop like that. <laughs> I have an Avermedia um, PCI capture card which pretty much of course since it's PCI it plugs into the motherboard of my computer. It's actually inside my PC. So pretty much I could hook up whether it's AV component or HDMI I could hook up consoles to my desktop basically and I can play my console games on my on my desktop on Windows 7. So it's pretty convenient because if I'm playing a game like an RPG I have my browser right there. I can just boom, you know, look at stuff like that. So I actually definitely recommend that you get this capture card. Now, it's not the best quality. It's decent. You know, it gets the job done. It does 720p and 1080, of course. But don't expect $200 hop gogs, you know, uh, uh, quality footage because you're not going to get that. But it is $99. It's bang for your buck. And like I said, the whole point of it is that it is ultra convenient. So let's boot up regular brawl here. This is regular Brawl, this is not Project M. Once you've extracted the files to your root of your SD card, take it out, put it into your system, go to the vault, make sure you have no custom stage data, it has to be a 2GB SD card, hit A, and it should automatically boot up. Like that. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and full screen this. Setting up drive. And like I said, in um, further into this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do custom music or whatever. And the links to all of these things you need will be down below in the description. So make sure you check that for all the links. <clears throat> Boot this up. As you can see, it looks a lot different. It has its own custom look or whatever. Pri its own Project M logo. It's pretty legit. Like I said, this isn't your half-assed mod that was made in somebody's basement or garage or nothing. As you can hear, I have my custom uh, menu music. Let me turn it up so you guys can hear it better. <clears throat> and also has its own menu. Roy is back. That's a little too loud, probably. Roy is back. Mewtwo is back. 
um, of course the game is faster. The whole point of Project M, like the M says, the M stands for Melee, you know, make it play more like Melee, like I said. It combines what was great about Melee and Brawl and it puts it into one game. And that's pretty much the whole gist of it. Um, and it also brings custom costumes. I see right here that Mr. L. Luigi, um, Dr. Mario is back in the form of an alternate costume for Mario. Um, Fox and Falco have their melee costumes back, which is pretty nostalgic. That's pretty legit. Uh, Wolf has an alternate costume. Uh, Lucas has the Mass Man alternate costume. There's Pajama Ness for some strange random reason. Uh, Roy, Zero Suit, Ganondorf, Captain Falcon. Samus, the Pokemon, Sheik, Zelda, Yoshi do not have custom, uh, custom outfits. Um, Link has the um, N64 or Ocarina of Time Link. That's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, a lot of these characters have custom uh, custom outfits. It's pretty legit. Donkey Kong has this like punch out, you know, boxing uh, custom alt. There's Dark Peach. Um, so yeah, the al alternate costumes, simply awesome, amazing. It, it's pretty freaking legit. Um, but most of what you're going to see in Project M has to deal more with feel rather than what you see. A lot of you guys are going to look at this and just going to be like, I don't get it. It's just a mod that brings Rory and Mewtwo back some cool costumes. No, it's not just that. They also have custom, you know, stages as well. And like I said, it's all about the gameplay most, mostly. Um, but they bring back some N64 stages, as you can see right here. Uh, let me turn the music down just in case it's still too loud. Um, there's Fountain of Dreams. Some of the stages they altered. There's uh, there's this new distant planet that they made custom by itself. There's a Castlevania stage. They brought back the metal metal cavern from the N64. So they've also brought back a lot of freaking stages. Yoshi's story from Melee. Oh, I did not mean to click on that. They made a custom Skyloft stage. You can see above um, Dreamland, and I think it actually just froze on me. That sometimes that will seldom happen. I'll say there's maybe like a five percent chance of that happening when you try to boot up a stage, but um, that's that's not usually a common thing. And I, you know, I'm not trying to damage control for them, but it usually doesn't happen. But um, I was about to be done with that anyways. Now I'm going to show you guys how to, and let me boot my weed back up. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make custom music, how to actually replace the brawl tracks with your own custom music. SD card is in. Link to this will be down be down below in the description. What you're gonna need right here is the Brawl Music Maker. Open up the folder, <clears throat> go to the BCSM uh, GUI, the the EXE of course. You don't really need to tamper with anything else in here. Just boot up the application. Now, as you can see, I already got um, you know, a lot of music I've already re you know replaced or whatever in here. Uh, so basically, um, this pretty much converts mp3 yes these have to be mp3 uh, files it converts mp3 files into brawl mp3 files basically that replaces brawl music now when they create the files before you do anything make sure you select the SD card or wherever you want the file to be um, created to you can select your desktop or whatever but for me I have it actually in my SD card so um make sure you select your folder before you do anything and then of course before you do all that you have to select your music of choice now right here I have Sony Vegas and I downloaded a Captain Falcon remix that I want to replace the um, F-Zero victory theme with so I went on YouTube and I downloaded a Captain, uh, Captain Falcon remix video I got rid of the video track so I just left with the audio and um, and no this is exclusive to Sony Vegas by the way if you have garbage ass Windows Movie Maker I'm pretty sure you can do that in that as well but whatever video editing program you have, you could do this with. And of course, any existing MP3, you don't have to do this at all. But I'm ripping MP3 from a video, pretty much. So I'm going to render this as Captain Falcon Victory Thing. Which I've already created, but I'm making a different one because the other one was jacked up for some reason. I've rendered it, closed it. Um, As you see, I have it set to, where is it? There it is, right here on my desktop. So what I'm going to do in the Brawl Custom Song Maker is add, add, select the file you want to put into the game. Now, if you're doing, if you're replacing victory themes, make sure you uncheck loop right here because you don't want the victory theme to loop. You know, you only want the victory theme to play once and then that music to set in or whatever. 
Now, when it comes to replacing stage music, of course, you know, you want to keep it looping. But for victory things, make sure you take off the loop. So once you add in whatever track you want, convert to BRSTM. And then it's going to convert that over. And once you convert it over, you're going to scroll down. Oh, yeah, it's right here because I already replaced them. I replaced the folder. Now, the ones highlighted in yellow, all that means is that these files have not replaced a, bra a brawl song. So these are pretty much the music files that you haven't replaced anything with. So it doesn't really mean anything significant. But um, go to the file you just converted. Make sure you have it highlighted in blue. Click 2SD. Then you'll see a window pop up that says, which song do you want to replace? I want to replace Captain Falcon's victory theme, right? So I scroll down the categories. I go down here to victory themes. Then you see it says Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda series, or whatever. Um, any characters in these series, if they win, it's going to play the song that they play. But because there is no other character in the F-Zero series, it just says Captain Falcon. So I'm going to select Captain Falcon. I'm going to hit replace. All right. So I have it to where it sends the file I created to um, private and some of you guys may not even have this folder but for some reason I do. I don't know what I did but whatever my stuff works. Uh, private app, whatever. It, it's wherever you uh, designated you know the folder to um, uh, wherever you did the folder you know to create the file. If you have trouble um, finding wherever file you just created, all you gotta do is just you know look at the date and time you created it. Here it is, right here. Now, uh, when you get the file, you put it in Project M, PF, Sound, STRM, and you just paste it in there or or cut it, whatever. Copy and replace, and bam, you just replace Captain Falcon's victory theme. Now to show you guys. Um, to show you guys working, uh, this working, you know, in real time, whatever. Let's put this back up. Oh yeah, my audio is out because, um, for some reason, uh, my Avermedia does not play nice with, uh, with XSplit for some reason. So I have to open up my Avermedia, um, before I open up XSplit. I don't know why it does that that way. Alright, so now we're back in regular Brawl. And remember, we replaced Captain Falcon's victory theme. So go to Stage Builder. Build up automatically. Hopefully, it doesn't crash on me. Sometimes when you open it, there's a low chance that it'll um, crash or whatnot. But it doesn't happen too often to the point where it becomes annoying. So you're not going to have to worry about that for the most part. For the most part. All right, so we're back here into Project M. I just have it on one stock. The old level one Meta Knight just show you guys the custom. Uh, custom you know alternate costume that he has is pretty badass so let me just knock him off the stage real fast show you guys Captain Falcon's with victory theme that we just replaced One, go. let me just grab him knock him off the stage because level ones usually have terrible recoveries come here dude yeah even level one midnight is like stubborn as hell come here Get off the stage. Okay, there you go. He killed himself. Now listen. The winner is... And that is my custom Captain Falcon victory music. So that's how you replace music and Project M right there. It's pretty simple. Um. Oh, and also I forgot I left out Turbo Mode. Turbo Mode, to simply access Turbo Mode, all you gotta do is go to Special Versus, go down to Status, Turbo. That's how you do it, it replaced the Curry option that was in uh, Brawl. Go to OK. And Turbo Mode is pretty much a mode where if you link, uh, if you link different moves, don't have any repeating moves, you can just attack as fast as you freaking want. As you can hear, I got some custom, uh, about uh, Final Destination music. So you can see I was attacking like really fast or whatever, but really I'm a noob when it comes to turbo mode. Oh yeah, and that's my custom Fire Emblem victory thing by the way, so. That plays here sometime I win with uh, Marth, Roy, or Ike, so. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, Project M, and that's, uh, like I said, most of this you have to feel it to understand why this is so great, but as you can see, it has some extra content, it has, you know, uh, 
music, custom music support, and all that stuff. It's awesome. It's great. And you, like I said before, you could also do custom textures. So I don't know how to do all that, but you can look up a tutorial for that yourself. But yeah, guys, this is Project M in a nutshell. It's great. It works online. It works on your Wii U. It's awesome. If you guys are interested, you have nothing to lose. It's not illegal, and it's free. Go try it out. But that's it for this video, y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you fools later. Peace.